Hi, it's Leslie Meredith with Break Bulk Events and Media. I'm here in Dubai. We've just finished a session that we call Game Changers, and I have Finn Roden from Hogue Auto Liners here in the studio with me. Welcome. Thank you very much, Leslie. Good to see you. Nice to see you. So tell me, uh, tell our audience, what was Game Changers all about? Well, we were looking at uh, the, the sort of the freight forwarder, EPC, carrier relationship. Uh, we had a number of topics. One was that. Uh, we were looking at uh, IMO 2020, of course, a very uh, hot topic now that changes hour by hour is the uh, coronavirus uh, situation. Uh, and then also sort of the geopolitics uh, and risk here in the region. So it was a, uh, a pretty in-depth conversation on a multitude of topics. Yeah, absolutely. So which one was uh, nearest and dearest to your heart? Well, I, I think we, we starting off with the sort of the relationship with carriers, uh, engineering, uh, procurement contractors, and, and freight forwarders, and, and how we can all uh, sort of have a, a relationship with all of us as a carrier. You know, we have seen advantages uh, working directly with uh, EPCs and OEMs on uniform cargos that are, are, are regular, uh, that are happening on a regular basis, but also we are a port-to-port -port only, so we don't worry about the interface, we don't worry about customs, we are the asset operator and, that, and we, we have a very particular uh, sort of part of the supply chain that we cover. And uh, uh, so for, for EPCs and forwarders, there is value in sort of transparency and, and, and sort of keeping everyone in the, in the loop, sort of collaborating with all three. Um, but, but, but there's also risk, you know, the, the, from the freight forwarder side, uh, you know, saying that for the EPCs that there is a risk that, you know, they have to maintain all those extra personnel, all that extra work to coordinate the interface between the modes of transportation. Um, you know, for us, we like to have a, a dialogue with the EPCs as well as the forwarders, because as a railroad carrier, you know, if we can get in the discussion early, we can offer a very good liner solution with frequency. Um, but if the components are built a little bit too big, obviously they don't fit our vessels. So that's one, you know, thing where we, we find an advantage having a good transparent dialogue with both the project forwarders and the cargo owners. Yeah, absolutely. And coming in early is key. Yes, very much so. So, how is the market looking for you? Flat. Flat. <laughs> okay. Well, flat's better than down, right? It, it seems, you know, for us, uh, obviously, with the uh, automobiles are a big part of our trade, and then brake bolt uh, and, and machinery is is uh, thirty five percent. Um, you know, for this region, it, it's it's still flat. Um, there is a lot of it's it's always a lot of things uh, being discussed. Um, so we, you know, we're always uh, we try to be optimistic. Um, uh, you know, uh, so it's it, it's flat, and we we try to do the best we can. It's yeah. yeah no, I understand that. Um, dare I ask what a, what do you think the effect is going to be with the China market, China trade? That's that was a big topic, obviously the coronavirus. I think uh, it's too soon to tell. It could be uh, it it. it it could change um, the supply chain thought process completely, you know, in, in terms of having everything coming, uh, you know, all your eggs in the China basket, you know, there could be uh, supply chain, you know, uh, procurement changing locations. India could, could, be a, could increase their supply for various components. Uh, Vietnam, Latin America, I mean, it's, it's too soon to tell, but it, it, it could potentially be a huge uh, a huge impact uh, for all. Huge game changer. It could be a huge game changer. <laughs> not, with, not a good one, but a huge game changer, yes. Right, but in the long run, might there be opportunities for other markets? Of course, of course. I, it's just, it's, it's too soon to tell. I mean, every hour we're looking at our phones to see what update is coming out, so it's... Uh, right, and what flights have been canceled. There have been a couple of those today. Yes, <laughs> yes, yeah. A few of our colleagues are stuck in Bahrain, so that's uh, for sure, yeah. Well, I was telling someone, if I had to be stuck somewhere, I'm happy to be stuck here in Dubai. <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> Not a bad place. That's right. Well, I wanted to also thank you for your participation and support of Brick Bulk. Thank you very much. It's always 
great to be here. It's a good crowd, and it's a, it's always a great time to see all of your all of our brake bulk and project colleagues and cargo owners and freight forwarders and other shippers. It's it's just a good it's a good event. Well, we're happy you're here, and thank you so much for giving us an overview of your panel. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.